Hi, welcome with us today. We're excited to talk about some FBN digital tools uh, aimed at looking for good product placement. And uh, here with me today is Matt Meisner. My, my name is Brad Roberts. I'm a product marketing manager focused on seed and di digital technology. Matt, can you give us a little background on yourself? Yeah, for sure. And thanks everyone for joining. My name is Matt. I lead our data science team here at FBN. So that's the team that is churning through all of the data that you all are kindly submitting in addition to all of our soil, weather, topography, satellite data, things like that, and really trying to turn that into usable insights to help make uh, decisions about your operation. That's great. Thanks, Matt. And I mentioned we're going to talk about product placement today. Um, you know, products really require a little bit of management. You can't just slap on any product to any acre or any field. Uh, and so we're going to look today at some FBN tools that can assist you in identifying properties about your farms and your fields uh, that can be helpful when you're trying to plan out where to plant your products. And so we're going to look at things like our, our map offering, uh, soil breakdown, and some elements of our yield potential tool that can assist with this type of thought process. So Matt, if you don't mind, could you walk us through some of these? Definitely. So one of the first things to really consider when thinking about a product placement is, is really understanding field environmental characteristics. And there's many parts of that, right? So one aspect of that is the soil, right? And we pull in a lot of soil data to help understand how soil types vary across the field. Here we can see a field that has three different soil regions. We also pull in elevation and terrain information, uh, which in certain areas can be a really, really big driver of infield variation. Particularly love the terrain maps, which uh, you know have these, these nice color codes to basically indicate areas that are relatively high or low relative to their, their neighborhood, right? So that can be really impactful in, in, in calling out parts of the field that are maybe on a slope or in a gully or someplace where water is likely to accumulate. And as we'll talk about in a second, that has a really big impact on the type of hybrids that you probably want to consider planting um, in that particular part of the field. Yeah, just from a visual nature, Matt, I, I like this because, you know, you identifying your soil type, you wouldn't want to put a hybrid on a, a sandy soil that's not going to perform right. Or you wouldn't want to put a hybrid uh, or any product on a low area uh, that's going to suck in too much water, and potentially drown that product out. You need a product that's going to respond to these type of, of different informations. And so these map layers in and of themselves will help you visually get a feel for where you could place your products. Definitely. And, you know, we realize there's a lot of data to go through here. So one of the cool features that we offer is, is basically a tool called yield potential here that helps take into account all of these field specific attributes and then suggest the hybrids that would be a good fit based on the growing conditions on that field, right? So, so this is basically taking in all of our tens of millions of acres of real world farmer performance data, Layering, in, layering it in with soil, terrain information, weather data, satellite data, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and basically calculating, okay, given what we know about the growing conditions on this field, what are the genetics that are, that are well adapted to these environments, right? And obviously there's future weather that is, that is unpredictable, and there's the risk of all sorts of things going wrong, right? So it's not a perfect science, but at the same time, taking into account what we know about the field characteristics, um, what, what are the genetics that have the best chance at success, right? The ones that are most likely to be drought tolerant if you've got soil that is not likely to hold onto water, right? What are the ones that are most, most amenable to, to wet soil if, if your soil is one that's going to hold onto water, right? So all of those things have a really big effect on the hybrids that are going to perform the best and yield potential is a really cool way to, to automatically churn through the, these massive data sets and highlight the, the products that are well suited to your, your given field. Yeah, these are some really cool tools, Matt. Um, you know, what excites me about the FBN membership, one, it's free, right? The other thing is, it's pretty simple to get access to everything that we've shown here today, simply by adding your field and field boundaries into your account, right? It, it automatically generates this information. And so, you know, to me, that's a really nice um, immediate value as part of the FBN membership. Um, you know, Definitely. I'll just thank everybody for, for joining today. Matt, is there any closing remarks that you'd like to offer? No, thanks everyone for your time. Appreciate your, your attention and uh, yeah, encourage everyone to 
contribute their agronomic data to FBN so we can keep uh, powering some of our tools like this. Thanks for your time.